drama at Austin International Airport. In the highlighted area, businessman Gary Terry collapses, a heart attack. Crouched over his lifeless body, the security guards act fast. They send for a defibrillation unit. Crucially, there's one just 18 feet away. The electrical shock has restarted Gary's heart. His life is saved. Got on the other side and I reached down to pick up my briefcase and when I did, I just kept going. Back at the airport, Gary Terry remembers every detail. He's now made it his life's mission to put defibrillators in every public place. He's walking proof that they do work. I was legally dead for about four minutes. And the, and the shock of the, from the AED was exactly what stimulated the heart and shocked it back in the rhythm. In today's America, defibrillators are everywhere. In most public buildings, in many private homes, and routinely carried by thousands of cops. They are pretty much everywhere. Uh, they're in local restaurants, supermarkets, they're on buses, they're on trains, they're on airplanes, uh, they're on rest stops on the uh, major highways. Protective cover and take out white adhesive pads. The American Heart Association says modern defibrillators are easy to use anywhere and they're campaigning to get them installed in even more places. Nationally, the survival rate for cardiac arrest is under 5%. Places that have done major deployments of automated defibrillators, we have seen survival rates of 68% and even up to 75%. The key is to have defibrillators immediately available. For every minute that goes by before their use, survival rates go down by 10%. All of this leads to the obvious conclusion that the life-saving impact of defibrillators here in America could have equal benefits in other countries. Already there are growing calls from the British medical community saying that these devices should be made available in public places across the United Kingdom. Jeremy Cook, BBC News, Austin, Texas.